Hey, what's up? I'm about to head home from the studio. And as I said yesterday, I'm gonna make a video like this now every single day. I don't know for how long I'm gonna do this, but I think it's gonna be fun. So if you missed it, I basically started um, what you would call a vlog, I guess. Like I kind of hate that word for whatever reason, but I think that's what it is. I'm just documenting my journey as I go and it's like not long, not long form, polished sort of content like the podcast that we do. It's not just teaching, it's like teach, it's it's like documenting my journey, sharing my, uh, the lessons, the failures, the successes, all of that. Um, and I'm kind of, yeah, showing you how I make records in the Bavarian Outback with people from all over the world. So today is a very short one, uh, as I'm about to go home, as I said, but I have something cool to share uh, nonetheless. So I was mixing a song today from an amazing band from Australia. They're called Collider State. And the thing is that their band, their music is mostly um, acoustic guitars and drums and some piano here and there. And like, but like acoustic guitar is the main um, harmony, like rhythm, whatever instrument. And the thing was that there were a couple of guitar layers in this track and they recorded mostly DI tracks. And with DI's, um, the, the, the pickup in, in like uh, an acoustic guitar, no matter how great they are, they usually aren't that great. So if you don't have a mic and you are stuck with like just the DI, there's only so much you can do usually, but there are ways to use it and to make it sound great. And today, and, but it's always a challenge. And today I had one of these challenges. There were some tracks with a mic track also, but some were just the DI. And I wanted a full harmonically rich and, and dense sort of sound be anyways, because the, the, um, there's no electric guitars. And so these acoustic guitars has to have to fill up the space. It's still kind of rock songs in a way. So, um, what I found is that these guitars, not only were they the eyes, but they had like a couple of nasty resonances and rings in them, which is kind of typical. So it's not a fault from by the band. Like it's just what the guitars sound like and their pickup sounds like. Um, and so I immediately started notching away and like trying to, to get these resonances out of the, the guitar signal. And uh, I did that and I added like a couple of filters, a couple of notches to get rid of those nasty resonances. And then it, it kind of completely killed the sound of the guitar. Like the, it completely killed it. It, it didn't sound like anything anymore, uh, but it didn't ring anymore. So I was like, that's, that can't be the solution. Now it sounds boring. It, it's not, it's yeah, it's it, that's, that's not good. So what do I do? And once again, and this is the the general thing that I want to talk about, and I was just so glad to have that to have rediscovered that. Once again, um, I noticed how well acoustic guitars take saturation and like even subtle distortion and overdrive without sounding weird. I even prefer that over compression when it comes to dynamic control on acoustic guitars because it's it's not as pumpy and it's like. Yeah, I don't know, for whatever reason, I like saturating acoustic guitars. So instead of like notching out all these rings and resonances, I just sent them through a Neve um, preamp and I just saturated, I, I just distorted it basically. And you could literally see on the analyze and you could also hear it, like you could see the gaps sort of being filled in with the harmonic content that the distortion, the overdrive added. So it looked like a spiky um, thing on the analyze and it sounded really... Uh, resonant in some frequencies and it had, it had these rings but now after i've distorted it after i've driven it with the preamp it sort of filled in the gaps in between made it more dense more harmonically rich of course and it evened out those nasty resonances and peaks and after that the guitar was still present and there but it was much more controlled even full sounding a little filter on the top to get rid of like the nasty sort of like the the aggressive attack that you get from the eyes from acoustic guitar pickups like a little filter a little roll off up top um a couple of small dips here and there in the frequency spectrum and then the saturation with uh, the neve preamp uh that did the trick right and then i could with a broad boost i could turn up the high end the top end even to make it more brilliant but without being it being like harsh or annoying or anything like that so that was really cool. And then I even, because I enjoyed it so much, I took it even further and there were a couple of like melody sort of lead guitar lines played with the acoustic guitar that I completely distorted with the Neve and, and I basically treated it like a like a guitar amp. So a lot of people like to do that and I did that too as well today. 
and it's just such a good sounding saturation. And I did all the, a quick, quick comparison, by the way. I did it with my real analog ones, and I did it with the Lindell plugin by Plugin Alliance. I think it's called the 50 channel or something, or 80, no, the 80 channel, I think it is. Um, it's a Neve simulation and uh, emulation. And their preamp sounds really, really good, very close to my thing. So you can definitely do that in the box. And yeah, anyways, I just wanted to share that because sometimes you want you might want to control overly dynamic acoustic guitars or you have these harsh sort of nasty peaks and resonances from your room or from the guitar itself, from the pickups, or you're stuck with the, just the eyes as I was today. There's always a solution and saturation often is it for me when it comes to acoustic guitars. Um, yeah, if you have another good approach that has worked for you in the past, let me know. Um, yeah, this is just something I've I've not learned today, but like rediscovered today and had a lot of fun with it. So I wanted to share it. All right, going home. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye bye.